Hi traders, welcome to Elite Currency. My name is Chris. Today's focus again on the euro dollar and pound dollar. All right, the uh, interest rate decision will be made in a few hours from now by the ECB. So some of you, of course, will be watching this video after that. And uh, the volatility could be large with regard to that interest rate decision. Price might fly up and down, uh, but ultimately I think that price will stay in this triangle. However, if we do see today's daily candle, with the strong bearish candle close breaking below this these purple lines breaking below 117 support then yes there could be a breakout down to 115 and that finally could happen we're in a triangle still yes we had a bounce at 117 that doesn't mean that the bulls will necessarily win although my vision is still bullish on your dollar up to 119 120 however that said it really depends on the breakout of this triangle Let's put this fib on so you can see what I'm talking about. We looked at this in previous videos already. And you can see the bounce at 117.23.6 fib. And if we do get the break, as you can see, then this breakout right here to the 38.2 fib, I think is valid for uh, tomorrow and next week. And there would be kind of like this three wave correction down to the 38.2 fib, which in turn could be a bouncing spot. We discussed that already. So, you know, let's see what the interest rate decision creates what kind of volatility and movement it creates i will be looking for a daily candle in any case for this breakout to the downside in you know the rest of this day if price makes a downside right and then bounces i would be also interested in trading it to the upside if we get a break or a bounce at support so if today's candle for instance has a wick here at the bottom and but ends up bullish like this then i think tomorrow there's a good chance and next week of a continuation to the upside if we get some some bullish candle with a big wick at the bottom uh if we get a bullish breakout candle of course today or tomorrow then a retracement and continuation i think is likely in that case i'll put the fib from here to here and i'll be looking for targets at the minus 272 target at 119 119 slash 120 which is the minus 61.8 target or even up to the double top and minus 100 target at 120 80 ish all of these levels could be turning spots back down although i think this one and this one the higher ones are more likely spots for a bearish bounce let's zoom in to the four hour chart and discuss what could be happening in the next few hours before the rate hike and after <clears throat> so the volatility could also just stay within this triangle it doesn't have to create necessarily a breakout so what could happen is it flies down it bounces up it moves down and we have a doji at the end of the day in that case i'm slightly favored towards a breakout to the upside but of course the break would have to happen tomorrow or next week uh the other option is that price makes some volatility here makes a bull flag uh, maybe on a one hour chart that could be probably more easy easier to see for instance like this and it would break out later today or beginning tomorrow, for instance, right? That's another option. Something like that, a flag to the upside would be interesting. At the moment, it is moving down. I don't expect that to go too far with only, you know, a few hours to go before that rate hike. I think price will kind of build a pattern here probably before that rate hike. And um, it could break both ways. And that breakout, I don't think is necessarily interesting. I would like to see a break flag and continue before i would be interested in trading it to the upside to the downside i would need to see as i said the daily candle close before doing and trading that so uh, let's see how it responds if it responds if it moves down like this and bounces or if it breaks and makes a flag and continues or if it has a very bearish daily candle it can go lower so this is my my thoughts uh before the interest rate but at least you have also some idea <coughs> excuse me uh, how I will look at the charts <clears throat> when uh, when the interest rate is finished and uh, how price might be responding and how I will you know adapt to those uh, movements let's take a look at pound dollar daily chart now I uh, I saw this as a breakout candle it's a bit risky because of the uh, the fact that this is still quite a sideways choppy correction all right so that's something to note but this retracement could be a bouncing spot for more upside and uh if today's candle does not close bullish or closes bearish then i would be cautious of this pound dollar and it might not be 
you know, that great of a, of a continuation. Although it still could if it's something like small candle like this. So for the moment, I think this is still a break pullback continue. Um, but once again, it is quite a choppy zone. There was strong support and it did bounce at that support. If it does continue higher, I think 134 is the target, 133, 134, 135. Now, looking at lower time frames, all right, we see how price bounced off support. As you can see here, daily and four hour support. Uh, but this four hour candle is a bit warning, is a bit of a warning sign that the, the, you know, the momentum could be more than, uh, than expected. So if there is a bear flag here, then this is something to be cautious of. And I might be careful with the, the upside. And I think that there could be more downside to come in like this to retest the support level at a deeper spot. We can put a fib from here to here. All right. And uh, the 50 fib could be a bouncing spot, for instance, like this. But if there, is, if there is a bear flag, once again, then that could indicate more downside. However, if price bounces strongly at the 50 fib and then makes a bull flag, then I think you could put a trend on like this. Bull flag, then there's a good chance of continuation. So I would like to see a V Valley recovery. Otherwise, I you know, personally don't think that the upside is looking that great anymore, especially if there's a bear flag. Unless, of course, it, you know, price breaks above the bear flag. If it goes like this and breaks above that bear flag, then that is something different. But uh, definitely 50 fib, an important level for upside. Downside, not so interesting because still we have a bullish breakout. And for the moment, I don't think that that is necessarily, you know, a, uh, a good thing to look for. Unless price breaks below this support level, of course, then that would change perspectives. Don't forget to sign up for our two-week free trial at EliteCurrency.com. Go to ECS Live at the top menu and sign up for the trial. Thanks and wish you good trading. Cheers.